Hey, Judd. Fetch my tobacco, huh? Hi, Mr. Robinson.
are we going to do? Go to town and get some help. I'll take care of things here. Judd? Judd? We must never forget this. Never. Promise? Yes, Ma. I promise. <gasps> do jam, boy. Remember that. They blow up in your face. They smoke too much. Remember that. A gun do jam. If you want to hit something, you aim. I can teach you how to shoot from the hip. If you want to hit something, you aim. You take that goddamn left hand and steady that right and be that thing. You understand, boy? Damn it, boy, stand straight. Put your legs apart like a man. Put them apart! Make sure your barrel's got a grain inside. Make sure the trigger works. You check that gun. You check everything about that gun. You hear me? Again. I've told you to keep your mind on your work. Yeah, well, you don't make it very easy on me. <laughs> you dirty son of a bitch. of this. Check, boy. All right. You get your ass out of here. And don't come back no more. And stay away from my ma, you hear? Or I'll kill you.
God damn. You busted my gun. You was lucky. Could have been your head. Tell me. Ain't none of my business, ma'am. Oh, come on. Tell me. Well, you asked for it. Man was right. You are a tease. All that scenery sticking out in front of you. This godforsook land. Almost any man want to stab you. Uh, almost anyways. Do you? Well, ma'am, I'm the almost. I quit that a long while ago. Hey, Huck. That was some shooting, Huck. You didn't even draw it. I missed, boy. I meant to kill him. Come on, you didn't even draw it. You don't have to draw to shoot a man, remember? Hey, Ma, this old dog's got a lot of tricks, huh? It sure does. You learn them all and quick. I'm paying for it. Come on now, ma'am. It ain't cost you that much. Besides, this whole thing. My teaching the boy how to shoot. All that. All your idea, not mine. Oh, Christ. Let's not go into that again. This one. Why? Well, this one sticks. Pins bent. Off center. Backfire on me. Yeah, they do jam. Lucky. You was lucky. I picked this one. Did I do right? Yeah, boy, you done right. Something wrong, Huck? Nothing. Are you sure? Well, boy. Uh, you picked the right one. Take it easy, Huck. Well? Well, what? Where is he? Who? Who? Judd. Isn't he with you? No, he ain't with me. He left. Left? Where'd he go? How should I know? What do you think I have you for? Mistake, lady. You don't have me. You hired me to teach your boy how to use a 44. That's it, and that's all. Besides, he'd be over 21. Don't tell me how old he is. I bought him, for Christ's sake. The cactus bush come me for <laughs> Well, gosh. <laughs> Say, either I'm drinking or you turn into a bean pole. Huh? <laughs> 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 Say, 
Let me see. Lobo! Yeah. Come here. Sure. I want you to meet the man I was telling you about. Oh. This is Lobo. He ain't got a last name. Doesn't need one. My old man was crazy about him. This is Huck. Yeah, sure, I heard plenty about you from Mrs. Carson. I think you're doing all right for this boy here. Just all right. Hey. Hey, son. Yeah. I want to see you load her up again and blast away. And I want to see you fan that thing. <laughs> come on, oh, boy. All right. <laughs> What are you looking at? Watch them dirty fingers, Popeyes. John, please. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm now all look right. at here, but ain't she pretty? Yeah. <laughs> now easy, man. Easy. <laughs> and what's she doing with old Popeyes here? Please, John, pay no mind. You promised. All right, I know, but it's hard. He keeps asking for it. And maybe you'd like to try and give it to me. Please, sir. You look like a gentleman. For my sake. Honey, since you put it so nicely, I'll forget about it this time. And you, little Popeyes, you ought to be mighty grateful to this little lady here for keeping them blinks of yours green instead of black. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Sam. What? My brother. Sam, remember Jed? Jed Carson? Oh, yeah. How are you, Jed? I didn't recognize you. You've changed a lot since I last saw you. Change? I guess people mostly do. Yeah, I guess maybe so. Well, say goodnight, Rena. It's late. We've got to be getting along home, boy. Oh, no, let her stay a little longer. I'll take her back to the ranch. You don't have to worry none. Well, take it easy. Just because you learned to shoot a gun, don't give you leave to talk like that to Mr. Pittman. Like what? What did I say? Forget it, Judd. It's all right. Except nobody takes Rena home. Nobody but me. Good night. Have a drink. A drink? Yeah, why not a drink? You like it? Yeah, I like it. She ain't for you, boy. Ain't no woman for you. Ain't no woman for me. <laughs> That's the way we go. Through all this. Why? Would you be like me? I mean, you'd be like I was a long while ago, like I used to be. You're drunk, Huck. I say you better shut up. Now, you and your mama, you like to tell people this. No, you like to order people to shut up, don't you? I didn't mean it. Not with you, anyway. It's all right. It's all right, Bob. Uh, I'm trying to remember the last time I had a gal. A uh, uh, long time ago. How long? I think it was, uh, yeah, when I was working in fields in, uh, where was it? 
I was working the fields with my brothers in uh, Arizona territory. Oh, no, it was Sonora. Yeah, I think it was Sonora. Farming. Imagine me a farmer. Huh? Uh, I was a farmer. I was milk them cows. <laughs> Took care of them pigs. All that shit. Manure piled that high. I don't know if I liked it or not. All of a sudden, everything changed. All different. I think it started with a gun. Just like you. Yeah. It was whiskey. Good whiskey. And then there was a lot of blood on a lot of Saturday nights. Often thought, how many Saturday nights? How many guns? How many whiskeys? How many bleedings? How many? How many? I don't remember, boy. <laughs> what happened, little Popeyes? Did your pigeon fly away? It's enough, big mouth. You shut your friggin' trap. Don't get mad. We was only trying to have a little fun. You're not mad, are you, kid? Come on. Let me buy you a drink. Drink with you? You dirty bastard. Judd, put it down. Go on, you little hothead, put it down. All right, let's put them all down. That's enough. Get out of here, mister. Yeah. Yeah, sure. You can't wait, can you? To use that black and white stick of dynamite. You can't wait. wait. Hey, Lobo, what's the idea? Oh. Take it easy, will you? Cool off. Look, son. Huck's right, you know. Slow down. You'll get your chance. Hmm. Thanks for nothing. Oh, yeah, you get it. Won't you? Yeah, maybe. But maybe soon enough. Yeah. Here's to our boy, Lobo, who's got all the makings of a real bastard. And I made him. I made him in my own fouled-up image. Well, hello, hero. Did you have a good time? Oh. You're told of the whole story, huh? Look, Judd. I only did it for your own damn good. Following your orders, wasn't he? Will you tell that old buzzer to stop telling me? Calm down, Judd. You're a little too tired. You want something to eat? Oh, Christ. Well, what the hell's that matter with you? You want to know what's the matter with me? I wanted to kill that son of a bitch. He was laughing at me. Hank, don't bother me with these things. And Johnny, you stick with me. Sure will, sir. Hey, Sam. Yeah? I want to talk to you. What about? Alone. I haven't got the time. It's important. I said I haven't got the time. Well, make it, goddammit. You come out to the ranch one of these days. Judd, Judd. I wish we could see each other like normal people. Well, we could. If your brother didn't hate me so much. What is it, Rena? What does he have against me? I don't know. Sam just doesn't want me to go with you.
What's going on? What is it? Judd, get ready. Which one? Neil Robertson. Lobos found him. Where? Well, he's buying cattle over in Canyon Oaks. Uh, you know, this town's booming. Getting to be a regular New Orleans. Won't be easy to find him, boy. You know? I'll find him. <laughs> she really had your food, right, Vic? What did you think she was? A preacher's daughter? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> you know, he's really crazy about that girl. <laughs> something else on your mind. Come here to settle and hold that. I'm Judd Carson. Oh. Judd Carson. That happened a long time ago, boy. But it wasn't my fault. I was forced into it. That didn't help my father. Don't try anything, boy. I think there's too many of us for you. Sit down. Take it easy, Judd. Relax. Listen, I'm a rich man. I've got plenty of cattle out there. We can split it up. Remember my pa, Neil? Remember, Neil? You fired the last shot. Isn't it true, Neil? And he was your friend. You remember, Neil? He was a good man. I'm gonna give you the same chance you gave him. Isn't that fair, Neil? 
Do you remember, you bastard? It was easier than I thought. I uh, believe I'll have a drink. You care for one, Lobo? Uh, no, no thanks. I gotta go. Uh, Judd? Uh. It was necessary, wasn't it? Yes, Mama. Don't you cry, my baby. Don't you cry, my boy. You are to remember Mama's love is warm. Don't you cry, my boy. Da, 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 da. Judd, why haven't you talked to my brother yet? I tried to. Oh? In town. But if you talk to him reasonably, tell him about our plans. Ah, don't worry. I can handle your brother. Why do you need his approval anyway? Why can't you just marry anyone you want? Judd, please. Talk sensibly. Oh, come on. Hold it, Carson. Boy, you sure take good care of her. I was just on my way to talk to Sam. You're under arrest. Say, what's this all about? Get on your horse. Go 
Oh, get. What's this all about? Judd, what did you do? Just killed three men, ma'am. That's all. <gasps> I'm leaving. Where to? Where are you going? Why? Call it premonition or anything you want. Are you afraid? Well, I don't rightly know, ma'am. I guess what I feel is sick. I didn't fool you, Huck. You knew what was going on. No, ma'am, that's right. You didn't fool me. I done that. I fooled myself, because there's no fool like an old fool. You see, ma'am, all my life I've been running, been searching. Thought I was looking for a place of my own, a place to settle down. But I was wrong. I just thought it, just like I've been wrong all my goddamn life. How were you wrong? How was I wrong? Yes. Ma'am, like always. I was wrong about you and the boy, this whole mess. You know, when I come here, when I signed on with you, it wasn't for the damn money. It was you. I thought maybe I'd find something with you and the boy. I like him. I thought maybe I'd find me a ready-made family. Something I wanted all my life. Uh, you see, I was uh, always searching for it, uh, whatever the hell it might be, some goddamn thing. I see. Maybe a woman, love, marriage, sex. Well, a little of that. Maybe we all need that. All except you. You're the only one. Never met someone like you before. Obsessed. So obsessed with hate. You remind me of a Cree Indian friend of mine. He was full of hate. He was. He had it just like you have it. What do I have? A sickness inside. Now, most of us hate, but not like you. No, sir, you got it double in spades, lady. Akili Awahini. What's that? Well, as my Cree Indian friend would say, the taste of the savage. And you got it. But you know, many women, a lot of women, they done lost their men, their husbands, even their children. But they go on, because life do go on. You ain't the first. I ain't like other women, and my man was not like other men. Sad. You be mighty, mighty sad. Very sad, ain't it? Both you and your boy. Both Achille Aoini. You stop that. I don't like it. Well, whether you like it or not, somewhere, someplace, there's a piece of lead waiting for your boy, your poor boy. It's funny. Ain't even his fault. It's your own, mine, own. Excuse me, ma'am. Sometimes I talk too much. sure found you mighty quick. He was out with Rena. What? Yeah, they were fooling around. Say, what's the idea? Sam, why'd they bring me here? Now look, 
Judd, before we go any further, let's get something straight. Forget Rena. She's not for you. I don't want you ever to see her again. But, Sam, I was just... Shut up! Just sit down and listen. Hank here showed me this. It's an order for your arrest. You're accused of murdering Nick Dykemer, Jim Fuller, and Neil Robertson. Now, listen. That Fuller and Dykeman drew first. It was self-defense. And Robertson. Well, God damn it, he killed my father. I saw it, I was there. My mother told the sheriff years ago, and he didn't do a damn thing about it. There never was enough evidence. But I went and talked... Personally, talk I... I don't know a thing about that. But I did know your father. And he was a good friend of mine. That's why I want to help you, Judd. I want to save you from hanging. Save me? How? Hank owes me some favors. He'll ignore this order if... if you do what I tell you. I don't get you, Sam. <sighs> Judd? Fuller and Dykema were two of the fastest guns of the town. Witnesses say you killed him clean. That makes you even faster. Yeah. So? Well, I need people like you to work for me. I admire nerve and skill. Forget it, Sam. I ain't a hired gun. Look, you better be reasonable. You work for me, or I turn you over to Hank. That's my job. Evening, Mr. Peters. What do you want here? Mr. Pittman sent us over. He wants to know if you accepted his offer. I ain't selling my land to no one. I advise you to think it over. I reckon Mr. Pittman's made up his mind. Get out of here! You heard my son, now get. Now calm down. I reckon we can settle this some other way. Don't you, Mr. Peters? It wasn't my fault. I had to. Oh, no. Oh, no. You gotta stop working for Pittman. Or else you'll get yourself killed. I can't quit. I just can't. You know it. You could if you wanted to. Hmm, I see. Hmm, of course. You just want to be near that skinny little girl. 
Now, listen, don't bring Rena into this. She ain't got nothing to do with it. Well, if you love her so much, why don't you just go out of here and stay with her? Mama, please. You know I won't leave you. Go on. Go on. Oh, please calm down. Oh, John. Yes? You haven't forgotten. No, Mama. Swear. I swear. I'm ready to finish what we started. Judd, dear. Yes? Lobo came by today. Oh? Collins. Come out and fight! Come out, you son of a bitch! Well, come. David, you must come and see us again when you're in these parts. I will, my next trip. Oh, boy. And you, too. It's been a long time yes. since you've dropped by. Rena, darling, I'll say good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Sam, thanks. Good, good night. night. Good night, Goodbye. Sam. It's a great pleasure, great pleasure. Indeed. Have a good night. Good night, Sam. Good night. Yeah. Sure, we got a little bit of Well, goodbye. Bye. Take care. Why don't you give it a try? I don't know. I love it out here. But I'll think about it and I'll talk to Sam. I only want the best for you, Rena. Thank you, David.
Good night. Good night. How romantic. Chad, what are you doing here? Spying on me? Now I see why you've been avoiding me all this time. You've got yourself a fancy new boyfriend. Chad, things have changed. You're not the same boy I knew. What do you mean? You've become a killer, an executioner, and I don't want to have anything to do with you. Now, I work for your brother. He's the one who pays me. He's never ordered you to kill anyone. You've done it all by yourself. Is that the story your brother tells you? Yes, and I believe him. Rena, come with me. We can go away. No, let me go. It's too late. I told you. I don't want to be the wife of a gunman. Rena. Go away! Going, Judd. <laughs> Come on. Come on. What are you doing here? Are you mad? Go away. Huh?
What do you want? Judd boy. <laughs> More than 20 men were looking for him last week. What's it done to you? Business. I got some business. You better find him quick. Or somebody runs him out of business. <laughs> <laughs> He raped Pittman's sister, they say. It's a lie. Sam was here looking for him, hunting him down. Oh, Huck, they want to kill him. Where is he? I honestly don't know. I sent Lobel to find him and nothing. It's been over a week and nothing. Chad needs help. Needs help, all right. Will you help him? Will you take care of him? Please. Will you? They want me to kill him. Who? Who wants you to kill him? The attorney's office, state capitol. How much? A couple of thousand. Here. It's five. It's all yours, Huck. Find him. Get him out of here. Will you please, Huck? What the hell do you think I am? I won't touch their goddamn money and I won't touch your one. Huck, thank you. Oh, Huck. You wouldn't turn against us, I knew it. I knew it. But I want you to know I'm looking for your boy. I'm hunting him down. It'll be easy to find. Buzzards in the sky, a killiawahini. Tracks will be easy to find, like following a hungry wolf. Wolf? Buzzards? You know why I turned that money down. I gotta do this. Oh, no, Huck, you can't do it's that. It's the only way. Oh, no, Huck, please! You can't do that to me. <laughs> you can't do that to us. <laughs> She came for something. Looking for something. Oh, for Christ's sake. I'm down, you know. I'm plumb wore out. Can't get rid of you, huh? You keep telling me. Judd. Uh, I can't work much like I used to, you know. Your mom pays me. In. I do what she says. She says, you go find Judd. Hmm. Here I am.
<laughs> yeah. Funny. You can do better. <laughs> you can sit that bronc longer than Wally Boy. Well, smart ass. If I want. Twenty bucks? Yeah, damn right. Why the hell not? All right. I just found out where Gibson is. Where? At the Double G Ranch in Mesa Chica. All right, you guys, stop talking so much. Come on, let's go. Come on. <laughs> you fell so fast, Charlie couldn't find you. <laughs> Two cowboys had a brawl. Shot Wall in the back. Who? Some stranger. Never seen him before. Tall, skinny, dark hair, green eyes. Yeah, green eyes. Where'd he go? Damn if I know, mister. Tell me. Was there an older man with him? Yeah. He mentioned Mesa Chica. Huh? Mesa Chica.
Gibson. Al Gibson, you know. Al? Nope. Never heard of him. He works at the Double G Ranch, maybe. Maybe. Hell, bug eyes. I don't know. I like my eyes. Don't you? Oh, yeah. I... I remember now. Now he come back to me. Hell, yeah. Al Gibson. He come around for a drink now and then. Say... Put it down. You aiming to live long, huh? Boy. Well, what the hell are you doing here? Huck, you old bastard. Come on, sit down. Let me buy you a drink. Right here. <laughs> Let me buy you a drink, all right? Hey, piss mark. Well, God damn it, where the hell have you been all this time? Been looking for you, boy. Here's looking at you. For the last time. You're kidding. You ought to be kidding. You and me? Hell no, Huck. That's the way people are. You ain't kidding. I mean, you mean it. I mean it. That ain't right. You're like my pa. You taught me everything. I mean, what I know, I knowed from you. You ready, boy? Now, wait a minute. God damn it, I don't like this, Huck! I don't like it either. You ready? Now, wait a minute. Let me think. Gibson's due here any minute. Give me a crack at him first, Huck. Maybe then you'll change your mind, huh? Let's go, boy. Now, listen. It's different with Gibson. He should have hanged a long time ago. You know that. Hey, mister, there's Gibson. Oh, woman? 
Peterson? <laughs> Carson. Judd Carson. Oh. Carson. Yeah. You killed my pa. You're damn right. I killed the son of a bitch. Why? Sam Pittman paid good money for it. Deadline. This is it, Gibson. How does it feel? You remember the day you killed my pa? Well, now it's your turn. How does it feel? I'd feel better if, if you'd let me get up and fight. Oh. So you want a chance? Uh, Give me a chance. Uh, All right. Uh, I'll give you the same chance you gave my old man. Judd boy. Huck, I don't like this. Ready, boy. Huck, please. Check your gun. I gotta get the main one, Sam Pittman. your gun. There must be another way, Huck. You forget all the things I taught you, hmm? Anytime, boy. Anytime. All right, Huck. I'm ready. Anytime, boy. I killed you. You're dead. And I'm still scared of you. Judd, son, it ain't your fault. I killed him. Judd? What's the matter with you, son? I just saved your life. He would have killed you. You killed Huck. You killed him. What you killed it? Huck. You gotta get Sam. You gotta get Sam, boy. You kill him. Lobo? Judd? You kill Hawk. You kill him. You kill Hawk. You son of a bitch! You kill him! You kill him. You kill him.
You come back here? After what you did to Rena? <clears throat> I didn't come for Rena. For you, Sam. For you. What do you want? Yesterday, I killed Al Gibson, but before he died, he told me everything. What do you mean, everything? I don't know what you're talking about. You was just a young man. Not much older than I am now, and you paid three men to kill my father. That's a lie. Oh, Sam, I know you too well. Look, Judd, if you kill me, you won't last long. Week, month, a year, but they'll get you. You'll run and hide from place to place, but they'll get you. A hunted dog, Judd. You'll be a hunted dog. My father? He's dead and buried! Stop! Stop while you can! Shut up! Now, tell me. Dear Judd, I humbly beg you to forgive me. Dear Judd, I humbly beg you to forgive me. No, Sam. With more humility. Dear Judd, I humbly beg you to forgive me. Ah! Judd! Okay. 